Hello children, hope you all are fine. I'm sure that you'll be missing your school, your teachers, your friends, especially your lunch breaks. Because that's when you play with your friends, you share your food and enjoy. Today, we are starting with the second chapter, Food and Health. Food is one of the basic needs of all living things. You might have experienced that you feel very hungry if you are not having your food for a long time and if the time gap exceeds you feel tired and weak. Some of your friends often fall ill, some of them rarely. The first reason is that it depends on the food they eat. If they are eating healthy food properly in the proper amount the chance for getting sick is very less. But eating healthy food alone, does it make you healthy? No. Health is defined as a state of complete mental and physical well-being. That means if you should be healthy, you have to have a proper mind and body, which is fit. So here we'll discuss about some important factors that is necessary for you to be healthy. The first important factor is a balanced diet. You have already learned about balanced diet last year. Second important thing is regular exercise. Third one, enough rest. And the fourth and the most important one is protection from diseases. These are the four important things that you should follow in order to be healthy. The first one, balanced diet. We have already discussed about balanced diet. Eating food alone does not give you energy. That food should be properly digested and nutrients in the food should be absorbed by your body. What are nutrients? Nutrients are substances present in food which helps you to grow and develop. You have learned about five types of nutrients in food. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrate is a nutrient which gives you energy. Energy to play, energy to work, energy to study, energy to dance. For almost all the life process to go on, you need energy. And that is obtained from the rice, potato, bread and all which you eat, which contain lot of carbohydrate. Second type of nutrient is fat. Fats gives you more energy than carbohydrate. But your body needs a very little amount of fat because extra fat will be stored in your body and that can make you obese or overweight in the future. Oil, nuts, butter, ghee and all are rich in fats. Third type of nutrient is proteins. Proteins are very essential for you children because you are in a stage of growth and proteins are the nutrients which helps you to grow. Pulses, milk, meat are all rich in proteins. So try to include all these things in your diet so that you can grow healthy. Fourth type of nutrient is vitamins. Vitamins help you to fight against diseases. It improves the ability of your body to fight against diseases. It makes you fit. And the last type of nutrient is mineral. Minerals help in the growth and development of your body. You have already learned that calcium, iron, sodium, potassium and all are minerals which is necessary for your body. For example, calcium is a mineral which helps in the growth of your bones and teeth. So these five nutrients along with 
two more important things. Which are the two more important things? Yes, roughage and water. What is roughage? Roughage is the fiber present in your body which helps you to get rid of undigested food. That means to get rid of the waste from your body. So these five nutrients along with roughage and water if they are taken in a proper amount that is required by your body that is termed as a balanced diet. If you have a balanced diet, you will become healthy. So that is the first important thing. But having balanced diet does not provide you a healthy life. Eating too much and sitting simply is not health. For getting health, you need regular exercise. Regular exercise develops and tones up our muscles. We can take the example of a machine. If a machine is not used for two or three years and after that if we try to use it, the machine parts will not work smoothly. The flexibility will be lost and there will be a stiffness in the movement creating a lot of unwanted sounds. So same way, if you are not making use of all your body parts, the flexibility is lost and it becomes stiff. So doing exercise moves all your body parts and make it flexible. That is the first important thing of doing exercise. And you might have noticed that when you do exercise, your breathing rate increases. Your breathing rate increasing means you are taking in more oxygen and you are giving out more carbon dioxide. When you take in more oxygen, that oxygen is passed on to all your body parts, especially your nervous system. If your nervous system, nervous system is the control center of your body which consists of brain. If your brain receives more oxygen, it makes your brain fresh so that you can think more, you, are, you can learn more, you can work more. So doing regular exercise is not only for making your body fit, but also to make your mind fit. One more important thing is doing regular exercise helps to maintain a good posture. What do I mean by a posture? It is not poster, it is posture. Posture is the position in which we hold our body while we are sitting, standing or moving. That means you have to hold your body upright while you are sitting, standing or moving. See these are some examples of the right things or the right postures and the wrong postures. While sitting, normally in the class I have seen many children sitting like this. When you sit like this, you can easily notice the backbone is already bent. And if you continue sitting like this every time, it can affect your bones. So this is the right posture. Sitting straight with the backbone upright is the right posture. While standing, no need to bend your upper body forward. This is the right posture that you have to follow while you are standing. Hold your backbone upright. And the third one is while you are walking. This is the wrong posture and this is the right posture of walking holding your body upright. So exercise, doing regular exercise helps to maintain fitness to your body as well as to maintain a good posture. And a good posture always makes you graceful in appearance. Now having food and doing regular exercise and having a good posture is not only the way to become healthy. If you keep on working a machine for day and night, will it work properly? No. After some time, the machine starts getting hot, isn't it? And the speed decreases. Same way, human body is also a machine. 
so if we keep on working day and night our body reduces its efficiency so for being healthy and improving efficiency the third thing that we have to follow is taking enough rest enough rest means sleeping proper regular hours of sleep sleeping helps to relax your body and refresh your mind it helps the body to get ready to work efficiently again sleeping helps the body for the growth and repair of the cells that is why you have heard parents saying that small children has to sleep at least 8 hours because they are growing growth process normally occurs when your body is at rest that means when you are sleeping so along with proper diet regular exercise you need enough sleep also and along with this the most important thing is protecting your body from diseases protecting your body from disease you need to know what is a disease first disease is an abnormal condition in which the body is not able to function properly that means in the normal way this happens either when one part of your body or one organ of your body stops functioning or it can be because of the lack of some vitamin or mineral in your body when one part of your body stops functioning the normal working of the body does not go on i'll tell you an example the best example is diabetes you might have heard about it diabetes diabetes is a situation in which the part of your body that is your pancreas is not able to produce insulin in your body have you heard about insulin if you have grandparents in your house you will know about it so actually the food that you eat is digested and changed into glucose a very sweet substance isn't it so that glucose it is not the glucose that we obtain from the shops okay the food that we eat is changed into glucose and this glucose is passed down to the cells so that all parts of the body receives energy from the food so this transferring of glucose to the cells is done with the help of insulin if pancreas is not able to produce insulin what happens is the glucose that is produced after digestion will not be carried to the different parts it remains in the blood itself so in such a situation the blood sugar level increases and that is termed as diabetes so that happens when one part of your body does not function that is one case or one type of disease the second type of disease is that when you lack a nutrient that means a vitamin or mineral in your body the best example is goiter you have heard about thyroid disease goiter is a condition in which your body lacks iodine iodine stimulates or helps the thyroid glands in your body to produce thyroid hormone so if in iodine is not present in your body thyroid gland fails to produce thyroid hormones and what happens the thyroid gland works hard to produce the hormones without the help of iodine because of this hard work it increases in size and protrudes out in the neck and that is seen as goiter or thyroid so these are conditions in which the body is not having a proper vitamin or mineral in the definite amount needed by your body so this way we have different types of diseases whatever it is or whatever type of disease it is disease is an abnormal condition in which the body is not able to function properly so only if you try to protect your body from diseases you can be fit or you can be completely fit otherwise 
having proper diet, regular exercise and enough rest but getting infected by disease will not make you healthy. So for being healthy just keep in mind four important things, balanced diet, a regular exercise, enough rest and protect yourselves from diseases. I hope you all have understood and I think you have got some information regarding disease that is very important in the present situation. So thank you children.